Welcome to Spur Gear, where we do everything RC, driving unboxing, tips and tricks, and complete builds. Today's video is actually part two of the Transform SCX24 Deadbolt into Chevy video. If you haven't watched part one, you can click on the link in the description below. In this video, I wanted to go over all the little things I did once the conversion was complete. This includes the upgrades I added and why. We've got a few things to go over, so let's get started. If you noticed from the previous video, the Chevy body is mounted with very little clearance from the stock deadbolt wheels. This is because the Nitto Grappler tires are larger than BF Goodrich tires on the stock Chevy. So the first real upgrade after the conversion was complete was bolt on the RC four wheel drive stamped steel beadlock wheels in chrome. The tires are also from RC four wheel drive and are the Goodyear Wrangler tires. This is a serious upgrade from the plastic wheels and Nitto Grapplers that came stock on the deadbolt. They are quite a bit heavier, so there's much more weight keeping this rig grounded while crawling. After switching out the wheels, I was still unhappy with the clearance from the body, so that takes us to the next little thing I did. To make the body sit at a nice height, I actually took spare servo horns and used them to remount the front body posts and rear shocks. Okay, so what I did was I have two servo horns. The first servo horn was actually used just to shift over where the shock was mounted. It was originally mounted here, and I used a servo horn to push it over here, and that makes it so the shock is upright. Then the second servo horn was actually used so that I can move the body posts up. Um, so this is actually very secure because the second servo horn is actually sitting on the first servo horn. And it has a bolt here where the original body post uh, is usually screwed in. And what I've done is I've taken the first two holes of the second servo horn and bolted them into the body post itself. So onto the rear, what I've done is use one servo horn and moved the shock down from its original placement. This gives the proper clearance for the body and also gives the truck a nice lifted look. What you're looking at is the stock Chevy C10 on the left and the Transform Deadbolt on the right. I just wanted to show you a comparison of the stock setup and mine. This modification isn't just for looks, it's for clearance. If you're considering transforming your Deadbolt into the Chevy C10, your stock wheels will rub against the wheel well. Even my beadlock setup rubbed before I lifted the body. Some additional things I did was add some nice scale accessories. This includes the dashboard, the steering wheel, and the rear view mirror with the dice hanging from it. I've gone ahead and put together a small crawler course. This is just so you can see the modifications I've done and the difference in performance.
Okay, so the modifications definitely helped in getting the transformed deadbolt across the line. Unfortunately, this course was just a little too much for the stock Chevy. This is Spurgier signing off. Thank you for watching.